Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Sana Vivid Gyo, a channel where I share my personal stories as a German Vietnamese living in Ho Chi Minh City. And today I was like thinking, hmm, I would like to talk about a topic that, uh, yeah, was really important to me, uh, a question that my students often ask me as well. And they usually ask me at the very beginning when they start uh, learning with me is, uh, Tai Oi. If I'm honest, I don't really know what to do in the future. Uh, what can I do to find my interest? Or do you know in which direction I should go, what I should study? And I think that's a really common challenge, especially for me when I was uh, younger. I had absolutely no idea what I wanted to do as well. So over all those years, I uh, yes was fortunate enough to find my passions and interests in multiple things but reflecting back there were actually three ways that helped me to find those things and today I also want to talk about those parts so number one that helped me find what I wanted to do or actually helped me to understand myself better it's quite cliche it's something that many people say it's yes try different things for me, it was definitely going to New Zealand for a work and travel year uh, to discover myself. But what does discover yourself actually mean? Um, for me, it was mainly, okay, back then I grew up in Germany, right? As a German Vietnamese with Vietnamese parents and uh, a German environment. That means I had German friends. Uh, I studied in a German school. And most of the time I was, well, in that bubble. But uh, growing up between or in between those two cultures, I realized that it was really, really difficult to find my own identity or understand who I was. And obviously interests and whatever you wanted to do was linked to that as well, right? So I was constantly in fear of being judged by either my German friends or my Vietnamese family. But when I went to New Zealand, the nice thing about discovering yourself by going abroad is actually that uh, you're not being judged. You're in an environment where you can actually do whatever you want, whatever you want to do. You can try out different things. But on the other hand, the nice thing is you also don't know them, right? I didn't know anything about New Zealand back then. And the nice thing is I started to uh, decide for myself in the sense of the smallest thing. So for example, oh, where do I want to stay? Where do I want to travel? Uh, which t-shirt brand do I wear uh, or buy? All those small decisions actually helped me to discover and find out, oh, okay, I like this part, I don't like this part. And the more I started to decide for myself, then obviously the clearer it became who I was and what I wanted. And it quickly, for example, turned out that I, I like really simple clothing, for example. It's just like those small things. But the more you decide for yourself, and uh, yeah, the clearer it becomes what you want. And it's easier in an environment. I'm not quite sure about you guys, but for me, it was really hard back then to decide for myself in Germany because I was more like a people pleaser. But if there are no people around that you know, that you want to please, then it's actually quite easy to find out what you want. So that's number one, trying different things out, um, especially in a new environment. Perfect. The second thing, uh, I believe that many young people should do um, if they have absolutely no idea what they want to do in the future is following people that they admire. Um, when I was younger, uh, I had no clue what I wanted to do, but I had my small role models of people that I felt like they were amazing, either talented or they represented the values that I thought was cool. And what I would suggest is to work for them, help them, learn from them in the sense of Yes, when you're young, you don't really have a skill. But maybe you can ask to, uh, for example, be an intern for this company or for this person. Maybe you can ask if you can help them. Uh, volunteer, okay? Um, what I, for example, personally do right now uh, to help some people is skill exchange. Um, for example, I do my daily learning, I do videos and write blogs, but uh, for example, I offer people that or students that I think are really uh, hardworking and they like my content. Obviously, uh, they can't pay for anything big or something. But for example, if they want my help, then I do 
mentoring coaching sessions for them for free but on the other hand they help me with translating for example my blog post into Vietnamese so there's a certain skill exchange so what I mean by that is find ways how you can be close to people that you feel like they're inspiring you okay they could become your mentors or your coaches for example but yes learn from them and even if they do something on the surface level that's completely different or that you don't enjoy but sticking to them will help you find your values okay they reinforce your own values and maybe you learn certain ways how they work or uh, how they deal with situations and this will be helpful for you as well to find out what you want to do and number three that's actually something quite new that i discovered uh, back then i didn't uh, know about it but i was actually listening to a TED talk video that uh, taught this and it was actually quite a young boy uh, maybe he was I would say mid-20s and he actually said uh, yes finding your passion trying things out um, it can work for some people but it's also risky right because you don't actually know where to start and you just randomly start until you find out but what he pointed out what's actually a better way to find your passion or your interest is helping others mm, and when i heard that for the first time i was like okay sounds interesting yes you help others and uh, with whatever you do but the point about helping others is what we are people that live in a society and we actually enjoy it if we can help others a simple example why kindness is so important and what's actually why it's so rooted inside ourselves is uh, imagine yourself being super hungry okay but you have ten dollars so for example if you're super hungry and you buy your favorite food then i guess you will be amazing incredibly happy and you love your life and everything is perfect but now imagine your best friend sitting next to you and he's equally as hungry as you and now you spend your $10 on him buying the food that he enjoys for some reason even though you didn't get what you wanted uh, the happiness level is even higher right if we help and serve others so the point of him is when we solve problems and help others even though we it's something really basic or we don't like it or we never thought okay that's our interest the good thing about is when we help others we feel good about ourselves right so the more people you start helping for example with the things that you know how to do uh, then the better you feel and the more often you will do it and the more impact and feedback you get so in a sense you create your own passion okay without even realizing it it's more linked about the fact that uh, you reinforce the positive feelings inside you uh, that you receive from helping others or creating something that gives a benefit for others so it could be something really stupid and simple like helping like let's say you help elders how to use technology okay if you explain to your grandma how to use a tablet well that's nice your grandma will be happy but if you do it for like i don't know hundreds of people or thousands of people then you, you change lives of thousands of people and they will appreciate it and they will make you feel that you're valued as well and in a sense you create your own personality in a sense of creating something that you always wanted to do or you just yeah did it so I think actually that was a really really nice idea that I never thought about is creating your own habits by solving problems and I think there are loads of problems out here many many problems that anyone could start I mean it doesn't have to be like big ass problems uh, world problems you can start with your own family and your friendship circles okay people around you look for things that you can actually change um, yeah that was my take I'm slowly getting sweaty and I realized that I need to go to run that was my three tips for uh, finding your passions or interests so first again trying things out yes in an environment that uh, yeah you know now it's easier second follow other people that you inspire or admire and third solve problems and do it in a bigger scale and you will create your own one so I think I'll head out now and I will see you next week all right bye bye See you next week for another episode of Sunday with Gail where we walk and talk. And if you have actually a really nice idea, you're of 
seriously more than welcome to comment below so other people can learn from you as well. Alright, see ya.